today we are making, like I had said, we are making uh, sweet potato enchiladas. Super easy prep, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. So just so the ingredients you're gonna use, Avi, you need the sweet potatoes, um, some corn tortillas, some of your enchilada sauce. Yes, it's vegan. Believe it or not, a lot of products out there are vegan, but they don't commercialize it that way because then everybody's like, "Ew, it's vegan." Garlic salt, some sea salt, some of our vegan cheese. Yes, it melts, and some cilantro. So really easy. All we have to do, yes, it's pre-washed. It's a great way to kind of keep this fresh as well. Just fill it up with water and keep it in your fridge, and it stays nice and alive. So first things first, these are already been washed. We're gonna go ahead and slice these at the ends and just make like um, kind of little slices and we're gonna put them in boiling water. So I've already put water to boil and it's ready for these puppies. And all we're gonna do is just put these in there and when you are able to put a fork through them, that means they are ready. And all we're all we'll do then is go ahead and peel and mash, and I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll show you guys how we do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in our boiling water. It's super easy. This is one of those meals that you could actually take to your family um, gatherings. Holidays are coming up, so this is a really good choice because a lot of people are like, "Ew, that's vegan," and it's like, "Dude, shut up!" Like if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know. So super easy. You grab your pan already boiling water just throw these puppies in there just you're gonna let it boil until again you can do your little fork test so when you're able to put again the fork through it boom and we'll go step by step so it's gonna take about I say like 30 40 minutes I'll kind of time it and see and that way we can give you more of a direction all right you guys so everything it, it took about 30 minutes for this to boil just depends on you know how high you have it or whatever you've got going on um, so I took it out and again the way you know that it's ready is you kind of just put a fork through it And it's just kind of able to come in and out, you know, it's just it's not too soggy It's still a little, you know has a little toughness to it So that's exactly what we want and ideally what we're gonna do is just peel them and throw them in here and Smash them like and you can like totally mash them with a fork just just like so and All you do after that is you're gonna add your sea salt or your sea salt and your garlic salt just to taste you know whatever it is you know kind of tanging as you like um, you could add even cheese in there I'm not gonna do all that I'll put the cheese on top and I'll show you guys later on but this is the idea of it so um, to make it easier just do like a little slit and careful because yes it's hot another good idea when you cook at least for me I'm OCD is I like to keep like all my trash in a bowl so I kind of have like a bowl where you kind of throw all your stuff in so yeah, and the reason I picked this as a um, as one of the meals for our holiday um, kind of sharing or bringing to places meal is because who doesn't like enchiladas, one, and two, I actually was inspired by uh, Gracias Madre, which is a restaurant here in LA, who is also completely plant-based, and they have honestly the most delicious Mexican dishes you could ever imagine, and they're just so creative, so they totally inspire me all the time. Uh, every time we go, last time we went was for Jorge's birthday. So yeah. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish these off. Once I have this all done, um, you'll see, and I'll mash it just so you see how easy it is to do. It's almost like, like baby food status, you know? But yeah, so we're gonna do that to the rest of these. There's no reason why you guys need to watch me doing that, but we're gonna do all these, whip them all in here, and then I'll keep you guys posted on what the next Okay, is. so total fail and I apologize. Filming by myself, so didn't know that uh, Someone texted me and it kind of threw things off. But anyways, it did skip the step where you put the mush, the, the uh, sweet potato kind of, uh, you know, we, we mashed it. So we're going to pretend this here is sweet potato. And honestly, all you guys are going to do, the red sauce I had here, I'm just kind of washed away. All you're going to do is kind of just blanch it in there. And we cook the tortilla. So you put them over like a pan and just kind of ready to kind of eat. But you want to do that so that it doesn't break when you roll it. It's malleable. You can kind of just move it around. So pretend time. Blanch it inside the sauce. Nice and red, nice and red. Put it on here. Um, put some of the, the mashed up sweet potatoes. And all we're going to do is roll. And then we're going to place it in the big uh, container we have here. And you want to place it so that this is on the down position. So when it cooks, it cooks shut. And then, like you'll see uh, in the next video, um, we'll finish this puppy. Alright, so there we have it. Um, we have everything rolled up and ready to for our next step. Um, 
Can you guys stop? Okay, so the noise you guys keep hearing is these guys eating. Every time I film, they wanna, they wanna make sure and make noise. Every time, it never fails. Okay. Okay, entonces. All right, so we have done all of them. These are ready to go. So what do we do the, with the extra sauce? I'm gonna make sure it's extra juicy. I hate dry food. So I don't know, it's something about food being juicy that I really, really like. And when it goes into the oven, it's gonna go a little dry. So you wanna make sure it's like extra, extra moist. Honestly, just use your whole can. So the next step is to just put our cheese on top and just sprinkle the heck out of it. This is a follow, follow your heart cheese and this is the mozzarella one. So just sprinkle it away. I love cheese, so we're gonna be real extra and put the whole bag. All right, so when this is done, again, we should have had the, the oven going and um, and preheated. We are ready to roll. We'll, we'll go ahead and put this in for about 15, 20 minutes, kind of check it out. Um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like so, or what it should look like when it comes out of the oven. But see you guys super, super easy. Here's the end product. As you see, the cheese is like nice and simmering. Honestly, it was like 17 minutes in the oven. And how awesome and presentable does this look? It's like you spent hours slave in the kitchen doing this. But yeah. So you guys saw how I had about, I wanna say, I had six this way and two this way. It was a larger size tortilla, so that's the reason for that. But let's go ahead and serve it, and I'll show you guys how I pair this. Ugh. It's messy, but super yummy. And Oh, I've also made on the side, I made some um, some of my green sauce that I use on everything, which is the avocado, cilantro, cashew nut sauce. And you put a little bit of cilantro to make it look nice and fancy schmancy. This is the end product. How yummy is this, guys? Super, right, so this is pretty much the end result. Super yummy delicious plant-based vegan food that you can take to your holiday parties whether it's for family or for work whatever it is remember don't tell them it's vegan until after they love it um but yeah continue to love our videos thank you guys so much for the love we've been super busy wrapping up the year um but we promise to be back on board filming a little bit more this is just something that we love to eat and you know sometimes you just want that like hearty like Mexican food and this is one of those dishes. So hope you guys like it. Let us know if you guys have any questions. I'll leave all the ingredients below and hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.